Now, my prince, you put your left foot in, you put your right foot out. Doesn't sound like a gypsy to me. Then throw your head back and flip as you shout. Here up! Now that sounds like Egyptu. Here up! <laughs> Mom's right. Fast food is unhealthy. I don't get it. This place was totally clean when I left last night. Yes, well, it's not my fault Beefy Burger is open 24 hours. Never fear. The solution is at hand. Behold, the Vaculuxor. Cool. Actually, it runs rather warm. Now, watch as the Vaculuxor invokes the righteous fury of the air spirit to conquer and enslave all dirt. Ah! Wow, my mom would love this. All this no Why are you vacuuming the cat? It, it wasn't, wasn't our, our idea. idea. Ralph, hit the stop button. Stop button? Hmm, an excellent idea. I shall invent that next. Shut that thing uh, off. With the strength of Ralph. I call a sucker punch. You know, Rath, if you could fix that little stop button problem, this would make a great gift for my mom. A vacuum? As a gift? <laughs> you have a lot to learn about women, young prince. I do? Are you implying my vacuoluxo would be an unwelcome gift? As a cleaning device, it sucks tremendously, Rath. Why, thank you. I think. But as a gift to a woman, it blows hot air. How would you know, Neff? You spent most of your life as a boy. And you've spent most of your life as a garbage disposal. I know all about women. Uh, guys, I hate to break up the party, but... The greater San Francisco area continues to be jolted by a strange series of earthquakes. Seismologists have been unable to pinpoint the epicenter of the quake. It appears to be shifting with each new tremor. But the latest jolt originated in the Twin Peaks area of the city. Gab! Why is the Earth Spirit angry? That's what we have to find out. Wait till you hear the echo! Hello! What? That didn't sound right. Let me try again. No, my prince. Hello! Go away. Is it my imagination, or has Twin Peaks suddenly become triplets? We must respectfully appease the great Earth Spirit. Hey, Gab! Cool it with the earthquakes, will ya? They give me nightmares! Go away and leave me alone! Man, what a grouch! <laughs> Quick, my friends, get in! I wonder what made him so mad. I don't know, but I suggest we find out before he destroys the city. Keep a sharp watch out. He's liable to spring up anywhere. I think we just reached anywhere. To leave me alone! Gab, please stop! You're ruining our city! So... So... Well, I love 
this city. Oh, sure. Everybody loves San Francisco. But what about me? Who loves me? Hmm, sounds like a crisis of the heart. Huh? Girl trouble, I believe you call it. She left me. Can you believe it? My wife came all the way through the Western Gate just to get away from me. He's married? To who? So what do you say, Gab? Can we help you get Ned back? Sure. Great. Let's shake on it. Gab, are you there, Gab? <laughs> so. What you got that's gonna get my netty back? A bird? A songbird. The perfect companion for a woman of your wife's grace and beauty. A bird? Trust me. Here you go, Gab. So, uh, I should give her the bird? That's right. Hey, Nettie! Sweetly, Gab. Call sweetly. I brought you something, sweetie pie. More misery, no doubt. <gasps> oh, you dear little thing. Hey, if she likes getting one, she's gonna love getting them all. Get no! No, 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 stop! Thanks bunches, honey. I just don't get her. Nothing I do is right. It's not your fault, Geb. Chakal just doesn't understand women. The quickest way to a woman's heart is flowers. Mm, flowers? Okay. Is this one good? Nelly, I got something for you. I can hardly wait. Oh, it's lovely, Gab. 
<laughs> I think she likes it. And I know just where to put it. Do you know what really stirs the soul of a woman, Gib? Uh, spoons? Oh, words, Gib. Words. Anyone can give me a presence, but I will help you woo her back with beautiful words of poetry. Oh, yeah. Poetry. I knew that. <clears throat> now listen to this. Your beauty is like... Oh, 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 wait. I know one. Nanny! Hey, Nanny! Now, oh, what is it now, Gib? I got a poem for you, honey bunny. Mmm, this should be interesting. Ahem. <clears throat> Roses are red. Violets um, are big. My wife's real pretty, but she eats like a... I guess she heard that one. Take much more of this. I'm getting ready to rumble! Take it easy, big fella. Our mom's in charge now. I'm gonna work your body into such good shape that your wife won't be able to resist you. No, no, okay. But I'm not gonna jog. No way. We're gonna do some body sculpting. <laughs> What do you think? He looks strangely familiar. He looks like the beefy burger boy. My hero. Does he look great or what? <laughs> yeah, do I look great or what? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> you look like the beefy burger boy. Yeah, well, you're just a big windbag. Go put a rock in it. Go choke on smog. I've had it up to here with you, Gib. Goodbye. Goodbye. She makes me so crazy that it's all your fault. She never would have married that big dirt clod. We could just capture her and force her to go back to Geb. I have an idea that might work, but it means we'll have to bring the sky to the ground. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Windbag at 12 o'clock. Royal Spirit, your husband Geb only wants to be with you. So he sends a pack of flying rags to plead his case? Ah! Your, your Highness, please be... Please be what? Oh. Reasonable? I'll show you reasonable! Ah! Ah! It's the Pharaoh shoots! Let's get down to solid ground. Lots of luck! Well, that went better than I expected. We'll know very soon if our plan is going to work. 
If the idea was to get her to hate us instead of Gep, we are doing great. Can you go for a spin, mummies? Head for the top. Are you ready, my friends? Ready! Whoa. Whoa. New off switch works. Let me out! Geb! Get me out of this thing! Now, we must get this bag to Geb before she figures out a way to escape. Ugh. Hurry, Nefertina! Hurry is my middle name! I thought you were going to sue. Geb! Geb! Help! Help! <laughs> what have you done to my Nettie? She's right here, Gep. Now you can both go home. She's in that dirt bag? Nobody treats my wife like that! You do! Uh, your earthiness. So? You call her a windbag. Yeah, well... And you told her to choke on smog. I know, but... But, jeez, I don't really mean those things. I, I just got a few rough edges sometimes. But Nettie understands me. She puts up with me because she knows how much I love her. Oh, honey, I love you, too. Really? You love me, Nettie? Yes, Kim. Now get me out of here! Ain't she something? Oh, Geb, you finally said it. You finally said you love me. That's all I really wanted. Oh, baby, I'm sorry I treated you like dirt, but you gotta understand, I really like dirt. I know, and I could never resist an earthy guy. So I guess this means you won't be destroying San Francisco. Um, what do you think, babe? Not today. Let's go home, you big lunk. Well, in the end, it was all so simple. We all should have known. No gift can compare to the simple pronouncement of love. Yeah. <sighs> I hope I find a love like there someday. I'm gonna go home and give my mom a big hug. Hmm, <sighs> they do look happy. Ah, oh, Geb, I'm sorry I called you a clod today. You called me a slob? Not a slob, dear. A clod. A clog? A clod, Claude. Mm, that's not very nice. It wasn't meant to be nice, clay brain. Hey, I don't have to take that from an airhead like you. I'm an airhead? You're the one who never thinks. I think. Oh, really? What about that little escapade of yours in San Andreas? That wasn't my fault.